I feel like this is such a messy video. Such a messy video. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Hi guys, it's Ali. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Just a disclaimer for everyone who watches my channel for beauty content. This video is not beauty related, but I have filmed a Fenty Beauty review for you guys. So you have something to watch today. Because this will be uploaded on the exact same day, just in case. Y'all be like, why is she posting unboxings? Like, where's the makeup? But for anyone who's been on my channel since the very beginning, you guys know I am a sucker for an Apple product. Literally, I think my very first YouTube video was an iPhone 8 video. Someone's gonna have to scroll down through all my videos and check. But little baby me was doing videos about iPhones from the jump. So this it shouldn't strike anyone as a surprise. But what I do have today is the brand new iPhone 12 in green. And I am so hyped. So hyped. Like, can you... Can you tell? Can you tell that I'm excited? Just a disclaimer before we get into this video, nothing I film on my channel is to brag about the things that I have or the things that I buy. I literally just like unboxing things on my YouTube channel. I like watching them and I know there's people out there that enjoy watching them as well. So please, please, please don't see this video as me bragging because that's not what I'm trying to do in any way, shape or form. We're just here to have a good time and look at Apple products, okay? That's all this is. That's all it is. Now we're gonna get straight into the phone, but the first thing that I'm gonna say to you guys is I really don't know how I feel right now. Like, I feel like I'm having a lot of mixed feelings, and that's just because... Look at the box. This is the box that we're working with this year. And Apple are literally changing all of their phones now, even the past phones. So if you do buy an iPhone 11 today, it will come in a flat box like this. And they're doing this to be like environmentally friendly so that they can fit more boxes in more trucks and just sort of do less shipments, which I understand. And the reason why the box is so flat is because we no longer have plugs in here, or as Americans will call it, a charging brick. We no longer have that and we no longer have earphones. So, I don't know why they're trying to sell me Apple Music without giving me headphones to listen to it. Like, what's the problem? So if you do want those products now, you will have to pay separately for them. I don't know how much of an unboxing experience this is going to be, because obviously we don't have the headphones or the plug heads in the box anymore. But one thing that we do still have is the plastic clear pull tab. So we're going to have a little bit of a moment of silence. So we can hear the little satisfying sounds. Come on. At least they still gave us that. At least they still gave us that. And I'm gonna go ahead and open the box. I don't want to drop it but so this is the green color it's very very muted out compared to last year's green last year's green I absolutely fell in love with I was obsessed it matches sort of my attire a lot more if you're wondering what that green looked like I will put a side-by-side -side comparison here but now that I have it in person I don't look at the glass it looks almost white on camera, it does, and it's not. I just want to clarify that it's not white, it's green. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it because I've just been doing my makeup and I feel like I'm going to mess up the phone. But what I will do, I will show you guys that this phone next to one of their white phones. So this is the iPhone 5 that I've had. So the white on here, see, side by side, you can see the little hints of green in the iPhone 12. That's what white would look like. So this is how it comes, fresh out of the box. 
I really hate that you can't pick up the color of the phone from the camera. I'll show you guys the sides as well. You can see the green on the sides slightly more than you can on the other parts of the phone. Not as satisfying as the previous years, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. So this is the iPhone XS Max that I bought, I think, two years ago now. And this is just how they look side by side. And this is what they look like from the back. Okay, yeah, when you put this phone next to the iPhone 10, now you can see the green colour a lot more. And you can see that size difference as well. I'm not sure if I would like that it's smaller, but I did used to be a person who didn't like big phones when I obviously had the 5 and the 6 and things like that. So the sizes have definitely changed quite significantly since the 5. So here is the 5 next to the 12. And then my other phone here is the 6 next to the 12. I did have an 8 Plus, but I since sold that phone. And then this is the XS Max. Which I will put on the back here so you guys can see. iPhones have this feature where if you bring your previous iPhone next to it, you can sort of transfer the information from one phone to the other. But I don't like to do this, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to set it up manually so I can have a fresh phone. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in all the Wi-Fi settings and things like that. I'm a huge fan of this design. I genuinely love how this feels in my hand. I'm not a tech person, so I'm not going to review this like a tech person. If you're looking for someone who's going to give you sort of an in-depth analysis of the iPhone, your average consumer, everything Apple Pro, Marcus Brown, those are the type of people that you're going to need to go to because like your girl just doesn't know all that stuff. Like I don't know it. I can tell you guys the differences between this phone and this phone. So that's pretty much as far as we're going to go here in terms of in-depth analysis. I don't really know. I'm actually so much more impressed with this than I thought I was going to be. And every time I look at this color, I am so obsessed. I thought I wasn't going to like it just because of how much I liked last year's green. That was like literally if someone could have designed a phone for me that's the colour that they would have made it. But I literally obsessed over the phone so much that I forgot to show you guys the rest of the box. So this is the rest of the box. Like I said, we have no headphones or charging plug this year. So literally all it is is this small little holder here, which is literally the manual and the little SIM card ejector. And we only have one Apple sticker this year. Not that I know what to do with Apple stickers anyway, but it's nice that we had two. I guess it's one of those things where when you had it, you didn't notice how much you cared or wanted it. And now that it's gone, you're like, hey man, what the heck? And then for the charger, it is USB-C type C. So for someone like me who has had the iPhone 10 for the past two years, I'm not going to have a charging brick for this. So if I do want a brick, I'm going to have to buy one. You know and the iphone is exactly the same price that it would have been every other year it's not like we get a price reduction for the fact that we don't get headphones or a charging block so i feel like i feel like i've been scammed just a little bit but anyway let's get back to the phone this is actually a longer video than i thought it was going to be i will just kind of go through what i think the main differences are with this iPhone and the one that I previously owned. So like I mentioned earlier, I did have the 10s Max and the main differences that I can note are obviously the size of the phone and the design. So this is a 6.5 wide display going across and this one is 6.1. There is some difference in the type of display as well, I believe, but I'm not techy enough. For that, it's something like XDR, which I don't know what that means, but I'm going to assume it's better. 
the iPhone 12 and later models all are 5G compatible. This one is not. This one is only compatible with 4G. That's another difference. We also have a difference in the cameras. So on the iPhone XS Max, we have the wide and the telephoto. But on the 12, we have the ultra wide and the wide. I'm not too sure what that means in terms of picture quality and things like that. But I do know that the front facing camera the iPhone XS Max that I already have runs on 7 megapixels, but this one has 12, so I don't know, but my FaceTimes are about to be in HD. And I know there's a difference in materials. This one has something called the ceramic shield or something like that. Honestly, I just see glass. I don't know all these fancy terminologies. I'm not going to pretend to know them for the sake of a YouTube video. I'm literally just here to show you guys the phone and a couple of cool things, so I don't know. I do know that on the inside of here, there's like a ring and it's compatible with like this MagSafe charger, which I don't have, because I didn't really need it and I didn't want to spend more money than I'd already spent. I do have the 256 gigabyte model. I feel like this is such a messy video, such a messy video. I obviously haven't used the phone long enough to have it sort of a formulated opinion but to summarize the differences that I can note are obviously the size, the shape, the weight, the camera on the front. This is a 12 megapixel front facing camera and this one is only 7 megapixels. We do have some differences in the cameras at the back as well. We have wide and ultra wide on this phone and wide and telephoto on this one. From some on the, the front, front facing, facing cameras, cameras and, and on, on the right, right will be iPhone XS Max. Max. And, and on, on the, the left, left will be the iPhone 11, 11 just so you guys can see the difference in the recording. The iPhone 12 has a red bar at the top when it's recording, and that's something that the iPhone XS Max doesn't have. So now I'm going to go ahead and take a selfie. I'm trying to make sure that the settings are all exactly the same. So I've taken a selfie and I'm going to go ahead and put those on the screen for you guys. That's pretty much all that I can say about this phone without having a lot of technological background, I guess, in these type of things. I don't really know all the tech and spec stuff about iPhones and things like that, but I can just say that this feels so nice in my hands. I absolutely love it. The colour is to die for. A lot of people don't like this colour, but it is my favourite colour. I do love green and I just absolutely love this. It does feel like we've gone back in time a little bit. It does feel very 2000 and I don't even know when, but it's not a bad change. Like this feels so nice and definitely in comparison to this phone, it is definitely nicer. You don't really notice the size difference too much just because it is only marginally different. I thought that I would be like, why is this phone so small? But it's not. I think this is sort of like a perfect size. Honestly, for me, I feel like this is perfect. It's lightweight, sleek, luxurious, gorgeous. I can't wait to put a case on this and, you know, just explore. You know, you guys know I love all of these little things, phone cases, all of that. But yeah, this was my iPhone 12 unboxing. I'm sorry if you were looking for something more techy. I'm just not that girl. I don't have that information. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel once again. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do pick up an iPhone, let me know what you guys think of it. What do you think of the unboxing experience now that we no longer have headphones or a charging brick or things like that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go and try and play with this phone a little bit. So I'll see you guys in my next video.